Welcome back to Let's Play Shuffle. Where did we leave off exactly? I haven't uploaded the uh, previous part yet. Well, I'll be uploading it on the day I'm recording this, but not at this particular moment in time, because I always upload in the afternoons. This wasn't the best area in the city, but it was becoming a very popular area. Was that a bit of lag? The location was excellent because it was close to the station, the shopping area and the academy, plus this was a brand new house of a yard. Well, he was the king of an entire world, so I didn't doubt he was treated as VIP and had plenty of money too. Can you imagine if, like, their house is pretty much just a trailer? That'd be like, what? I guess she lives in a different world. I steeled myself and rang the doorbell on the gate. Uh, it, it's just in the TV, whatever. Sorry, I can't pronounce my own name. The steel gate opened automatically with a creaking sound. Irene's joyful voice welcomed me and I walked through the huge gate. This is the first time I've been in your house. I mean, been to your house, yes. Irene called me last night. She said her father had something he wanted to show me, so I should come over. I was interested in seeing Irene's room too, but I was afraid something might have happened if I declined, so there I was. What does the King of Devils want to show me? With 30% anticipation and 70% fear, I entered Nereni's house. いや、よく来てくれたね、リンちゃん。断られないで何よりだよ。断られたりしたら私の方から無理やりにでも乗り込んでお祭り騒ぎでもしようかと思っていたし。ちょうどいいワインをネットオークションで仕入れたところでね。I don't know what to say, but I'm truly glad that I didn't decline and need to give myself credit for such a wise decision. It would have been a disaster instead of a party, I could just picture it. But please, did the King of the Devils really need to be buying stuff on online auctions? So, what do you want to show me? Ah, just as he was saying that, there was a knock on the door. Nerineda-san, Literally. He walked to the door with a smile and grabbed the doorknob. Nerineda-san, Eh? I must have made the funniest sound. So I was kind of accurate with that, eh? It's supposed to be a really stupid, funny sound. Uh, what? Well, I don't know. When I saw Nerene had to wear a smile, I was completely stunned. こちらのクッキーはお父様が焼いてくださったんです。お父様、リン様に食べていただくんだって、とても張り切っていたんですよ。え、へい、Nerene。すみません。紅茶しかないのですけど、いいですか? No, that's not it. Why do you have that costume? She smiled such an innocent smile. No, is it kind of funny how like Obviously the main focus is you're like, holy shit, she's dressed as a maid, but all I can think of the whole time is, I wonder what those ears are like. It's just like, what the heck? I always kind of look at the ears and I'm just like, how how does it feel? Can, can they like, fly? That's stupid, but <laughs> it's just like, of all the things that draw my attention, it's the ears. I don't know why. <laughs> Nerene looked at me worriedly. No, Nerene, that's not what I'm talking about. That weirdo did it again. I was staring, starting to get a headache. The incident with the school swimsuit was one thing, but now this. I couldn't tell if he was trying to do this on purpose or if he was completely misunderstanding something. It's him we are talking about after all, uh, so we have most definitely going to do it on a purpose. 
I completely screwed up what I was reading there entirely. It just trailed off to... Whatever. Actually, you look too good at it. The outfit fit perfectly with her personality, especially on such a small frame. There's no question that she looked great at it. She was beautiful and cute at the same time. And the dress really brought out her unique habits. <laughs> Irene flashed me a smile more beautiful than a million dollar panorama. I could feel my face turning red. Uh, by the way, what did your father want to show me? え?あの、まだご覧になっていないのですか?部屋を出て行くときにもう自分のようは済んだからとおっしゃっていたんですけど。Never mind, I did see it. I guess I can understand him. Rene tried to entertain me in her maid's ghetto. The sight of it was something I'd never forget. Hey, Rene. Hi. Have you ever worn that when anyone else has been over? I couldn't let any other guys see this. Something would happen for sure. Actually, I didn't want them to see it. <laughs> 大切な男性にしか見せてはいけないとのことですから、今までもこれからもリンス様だけにお見せする服です。Seeing and like, first thing that drew my attention was the ears. Reminds me of this one anime gif. I don't know what anime it's from, but some guy just looked like he was gonna go at this girl's breast, but he just went for her ears or something like that, because she had something on her. I can't really remember. But that's what just came to mind, and I've completely, like, freaking spaced out there. Pay attention. I'm just a normal, healthy guy. Please, <laughs> こういう時にはその言わなければならないんですよね。Should I let my heart control me? But if we gave an option for that, I felt too scared to listen to reason. So that's like a second time that's happened with the ah. Irene, it's unusual seeing you here. ねえ、ちょっと夕飯に使う調味料が足りなくなってしまったので、お買い物に。私は家事全般がダメなものですから、こういった形ででもお手伝いをさせていただいてるんです。she smiled bashfully. Same here. Yep. I showed her the grocery bag in my hand when she looked surprised. Kinda of does old housework, so I feel bad myself. But whenever I try helping out, she just yells at me so I can't do anything. I'd probably just get in her way anyway. I truly appreciated everything God it did for me. If she hadn't been around, I'd have been living on instant ramen and meals from the convenience store. That's why I wanted to do what I could to help out. So I do my best to make sure she has everything she needs. Uh, Rene asked with eyes that reminded me of the kid. Yep, by myself. If I ask her what she needs, she says, please rest, and goes out herself. So I get the things that I think she needs. Or at least she won't go as far as returning them. Kaede-san, すごいんですね? Yeah, I guess she is. It all came back to the misunderstanding that I created when we were kids. Kaede regretting it and tried to make up for it by taking care of me. Going to the backstory in every route, man. It seems anyway. 
She always smiled and said she did it because it made her happy, so I couldn't argue with her. It's kind of funny, really, because Kaede's route is still the shortest route, because this route's going on quite a while now so far, and it doesn't seem close to its ending at all. Jealous? You mean you sympathize with her? I don't think it's such an easy task taking care of me every day. リーサマのお世話ができれば。ダメですね。カジノ一つもこなせない私なんかでは。ねえ、ねえ、ねえ。カジノ一つもこなせない私なんかでは。ねえ、ねえ、ねえ。カジノ一つもこなせない私なんか
that snapped him out of it at least. The King of the Devils next moved awkwardly as if it needed to be lubricated. <laughs> The king of the lag devils, Hulkner in eight tears pouring out of his eyes. Like follow, like daughter. I know. Oh, don't worry, you made something successfully, right? Promise I can taste it. Seikoだなんてそんな本当に大したものではないので、お父様大げさに言い過ぎなんですから。I guess that's just how he is. あのかっかりされると思うんですけれど。she presented me with a plate that contained an omelette with a few scorch marks. I was sure she worked hard though, putting all her heart into it. Oh, this looks great. I picked up my chopsticks and dug it. I took the first bite as Nereni watched me with concern. I tasted a little sweetness and the distant flavor of an egg. It wasn't bad at all. This is delicious. Nerone's <laughs> face brightened up as if it was a blooming flower. <laughs> I never lied to you, do I? <laughs> How cute. She looked down while rolling with a big red face. Congratulations, you mastered your first dish. I demand a victory sound effect. No, I would insert the victory sound effect myself, but I'm lazy, I can't be asked. Once you get going, I'm sure you'll master one after another. Just go for it. So it didn't knock him out like I suspected it would then. I'm surprised. Good, at least I have something to eat for dinner. There was a hot cut it on in the grocery bag in my right hand. Got it, aka the one who did everything around the house was spending the night at my Umi, so I had to fend for myself. Got it was always doing things for me, so I figured it was okay every once in a while. Pretty more like scratch it on too. I turned the last corner and looked at my house. There was someone standing out front. I wonder who? In the darkness I saw a small figure in front of the gates. It seemed so dark and depressed it almost looked like it was melting into the darkness. It didn't even notice me standing right in front of it. Why are you referring to Nereni as it? Nereni? The face looked up at me all of a sudden. I could see uneasiness in her red eyes. She was still in her uniform had she been standing here since after school. Uh, what's wrong? What are you doing at this time of night? <laughs> that wasn't a very good lie. She put on a false smile. Are you sure that's it? <laughs> I could sense loneliness in her forced reply, she answered sadly. <laughs> the silence filled the air. And Rene, isn't there something you want to tell me? <laughs> I just thought I'd come by, stare at your house for a couple hours until you came back. Honest, that's the real reason. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't a reason at all. That's just kind of what she was doing. 
She said weakly and turned around as if trying to run away. I grabbed her by the arm. She spun around. Fear and surprise mingled in her eyes. In I felt something in those eyes. And I knew there was something I needed to ask her. There's something I needed to talk to her about. There's something I needed to know about her. How many times is he gonna repeat the same thing, pretty much? But the words wouldn't come out. I didn't know what to ask, what to talk about, what to know, I just don't know. Then why did you have all that? He's like, I need to, I need to ask her this, I need to know, but I don't know what it is I need to know or what I'm asking. Just like, um, sorry, I blanked out. I didn't know what I could do for her at this point. Alden stare awkwardly into her eyes and think, what, what did I stop you for again? <laughs> the only thing I could do for the moment was to look into her eyes and try to remember. It's like, ah, oh, crap, uh, shit, I forgot what I was going to say. We had met eight years earlier, I remember that clearly. A girl was looking at the sky in the empty park at sunset. A cute girl with long ears. When she noticed me, she smiled and spoke. What does he be? Her long hair was beautiful, the little slanted eyes were looking at me happily. I remembered it. I knew how good it felt to have someone important nearby. I'm Rin, Rin to see me, whatever. I can't pronounce my name. I knew it. That's why I took her hand. I could feel she had something that I had. A small park at sunset, a swing in a small sandbox. That's the something you had? No. That was enough. We competed to see who could swing higher and we made a big sandcastle. We chased each other around the park and before we knew it, the sky was already dark. Then lots of grown-ups showed up and took her away. She went back to her important person, and now the girl was standing there in front of me. She was standing in front of me full of fear and clinging desperately to the feelings she found back then. I remembered when I was first reunited with Nerini. It was three months ago. Can you imagine if they had no knowledge about the world of the devils or gods, and someone just came up to you and said that? You'd be like... Uh, okay, I would have thought it'd be from Hyrule or something with those ears. Well, I guess that works too. The encounter from eight years ago. You didn't get to finish your sentence, that girl was. That girl? A single question formed in my mind, it swirled around and urged on a single memory. Rin. Irene. Could it be? Are you not her? What? A plot twist? The Irene's body shook as I asked. Wait, we seriously having a plot twist like that? Cause I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting that. If that's the case, who are you? Her red eyes flickered and tears poured down her cheeks. Then she smiled. Mm. あの時からそう呼ばれるようになりました。父、リン、ネリネの名前の中にもリンがあるねって、リン様と同じだねって、そう笑いながら。She tried so hard to smile, but she couldn't. Looking devastated, Nerene spoke with a shaky voice.私ではダメなんです。私ではいけないんです。なのに、なのに私は好きになってしまったんです。私を止められないんです。ルネ、ヨア。Tears I didn't know what, but something was different, for sure the girl in front of me wasn't the girl from back then. Seriously, I need to pause every now and then, you know, between lines like that. No wonder why I'm always out of breath. The girl I met eight years ago, that wasn't... That 
Inside her shoulders were shaking. Irene. My heart swayed as I said her name. That was proof enough. The girl in front of me was the one who laid claim to my heart. This tiny girl from the devils. The girl named Nereni, who was looking at me. <laughs> her small voice called for me. The girl was calling to me. Well, no shit, she's right in front of you. That was all I needed. I pulled my face close to hers and she closed her eyes. Our shadows became one. After we felt the warmth of each other's bodies, we opened our eyes. I saw a girl who was smiling at me with those red eyes. I'm still confused. What the hell is with this whole, you're not from back then, and... I am majorly confused. But at the same time, there was a girl crying her heart out through them as well. I didn't care. I just wanted to love this girl who was in front of me. As long as it was her, I don't care who she was. That's why I embraced her, that's why I snatched her away. The warmth, the soft touch, those were the results of Nerene and I desiring each other. Uh, Nerene asked with a flushed face, I knew what she was trying to ask. Wait, is this gonna lead to the scene, you know? Kind of think about it, I remember hearing like there's two of those for each route, so we haven't even got to the first one, holy shit. So is this gonna be leading into that? It does seem likely, but when is the question? An awkward point, or why? I don't know. God is staying at Miami's and oh, it all makes sense now that that would be the case. I just checked on Primla and she sounds asleep. She won't wake up until morning. So, so this Oh, how convenient! I'm just waiting until like the. I just like trying to see if there's any feral development before you know that kind of development kicks in. They're in it. I seriously want you now, so I probably won't be able to stop once we've got started. It begins. So if you're not willing to do this, uh, please reject me now. I looked into her eyes and reached for the ribbon on her chest. Well, it's... Like hell is she gonna reject you, man? It's just like, this whole time with all this, you think... That, that would be hilarious, though, if that were the case. I think we should edit now because it, it's obviously again. Uh, 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 yeah, I'll just I'll leave you guys to it. Edit time! <laughs> 